Where are we? Oi, watch it! Huh. I think this is the middle of the M1. Ooh, is that a service station over there? I do fancy Burger King. Well, time for lunch. Burger King, what can I get you? Hello there, faithful squire of Burger King. It is I, the Burger King. I would like a free meal, please. I'm sorry, we don't give out free meals, sir. But I am the Burger King. You do understand this, right? I was a Burger Knight, but in the Great Food Crusades, I was the highest ranking survivor, making me the rightful heir to the Burger Throne. Yeah, let me just check with my manager. We're not gonna give you free food. Next. Okay, okay, I see how it is. <sighs> Customer service these days. Yeah. Guess I'll just have to sneak around the back then. Right, now I'm in. Just need to remember how to make a Burger King burger. Can't be that difficult, right? Uh, Who are you? I am Jinga. Jinga? You mean you mean like Jenga? No, it's an original name. I came up with it myself. Fuck you. I do recognize your species, though. You're a foo, aren't you? Yes, I am a foo. What of it? You don't belong in this time and place, and you're stepping in the Burger King lettuce. Oh well, you see, my feet secrete a special hallucinogen that can mind wash people. Anyone who eats my Burger King foot lettuce will be under my control. Alright, alright. Well, it's a good thing I'm here, because I'm going to stop you. For I am... The Doctor. <laughs> I expected your arrival, Doctor. I've upgraded my food form to be invulnerable to your sonic screwdriver. Well, I've upgraded. So what? Sonic sunglasses? Ah, Brook 19. <laughs> What the fuck, man? What, why would you do this? Oh, I'm so much pain. Everything that was happening just now was pointing towards your death. I'm just trying to speed up the process here, alright? I think I'm gonna die. Oh. By the way, you don't mind if you could tell me how to make a Burger King burger. I've kind of forgotten and I want a free meal. Fuck you. Oh, well, he's, he's dead now. I, I guess. I guess I'll just take take the burger buns and eat them with, with like some ketchup or something. I don't know. But let's let's go. Well, lunch was a bust. Back into the Tardis. Oh. Oh god, there's been a horrible accident! Someone help! It's crazy out here! Uh, uh, excuse me, sir. What happened? Well, someone left this blue box in the middle of the bleeding M1. People keep crashing into it. It's called a, a road accident. You can see that, right? Uh, oh, um, this blue box. Uh, that's... Mm, Quite a shame. Let, let me just take a closer look. All right, then just shit on me, I guess.
Wow, I do love a good trip to New York. The sights, the smells, the instantly visible inequality. Ah. Hey, I'm walking here. Hey, get away from me. You think you can get my business? Nah. You step off. Oh, sorry. Hey, you. Hey. Hey, you want a pizza pie? You want a pizza pie to put in your pie hole? Hmm? You want a pizza pie? It's, it's mainly defrosted. Um, okay then. But you want a mainly defrosted pizza pie? You get out of here. I ain't selling no pizza pies. Yeah, you have to go across the street to, to Carlos. Get your pizza pie. I won't sell you any. Well, I will sell you premium hot dogs from a hot dog cart. I'm a hot dog vendor. That's my trade. Okay, I'll have a hot dog, I guess. You don't insult me. Uh, you think, oh, you think you're better than me? You think you're better than a hot dog vendor? Nah, man. We seem to have got off on the wrong foot. Let's try this again. I am the doctor. <laughs> oh, you got a fancy medical degree? Ah, oh, big man got his medical degree. Too good for a hot dog. No, I don't think I'm too good for it. I said I'd have one. You know what? I respect you. I respect doctors. I'm gonna give you a free hot dog for free. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, free hot dog, I guess. I'll tell you what kind of hot dogs we got. We got Zlorp hot dogs. We got Zanzibar hot dogs. We got exopla exoplum exoplasmic hot dogs. Yeah, that's right. These are alien hot dogs because you thought this was why well, you thought this was like New York or Jersey. No, this isn't. This is a full-on alien planet. Oh, really? They're just. It's very. It looks a lot like New York or something. This is like there. There are flying cars going all around our heads. Oh yeah. I'm describing it to you. I know you can see it, but I'm describing it to you because you th clearly think we're in New York or something. What do you think this is Midtown? Nah. My bad, Ben. This this is the planet. This is planet Grumpelblorp. Yeah. Seems I've come to the wrong place. Something must have pulled the TARDIS off course. I don't suppose you know anything that may have done this. I know it sounds like I just made that up, but I I I've lived here my whole life. You think you're better than me just because you're... Just because I don't know where I live? Nah, man, you ain't better than me. Kind of cringe. Not helpful, bro. You're gonna have a hot dog or what? I respect you. I want to give you this hot dog. Listen, are you gonna help me or what? All right, we'll go for the hot dog. Okay, what? I'll give you condiments. I'll give you all the condiments, man. I'll give you the blue one, the yellow one, the green one. I'll give you all the condiments free because I respect you. There you go. Here's your hot dog, sir. Enjoy your hot dog. Eat it, swallow it down your gullet. Enjoy that whole hot dog, man. You enjoy that. You deserve that. Okay, fine. I'll eat the hot dog. Mmm. This isn't bad, actually. Yeah, man. You deserve that hot dog. Yeah, you eat it. You put it down your throat. You shove that. You shove that hot dog down your throat. You okay, dude? Throat. You deserve this. You deserve this, doctor. Yeah, that's right. I know who you are. Doctor. Wait, you do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all part of my plan is all coming together. What? You thought I was a hot dog vendor? You thought I was a regular hot dog vendor? I mean, yeah, I, I did kind of. So, are you an enemy then? <laughs> did you spit in this hot dog or something? No, I didn't spit in your hot dog. It's merely enchanted. Oh shit, magic? Oh, of course, the Sonic Screwdriver would never warn me about magic. That is devious indeed. That's right. Oh, enchanted hot dog. Whoa, crazy. You didn't see that one coming, did you? I can see it. Your mind is blown, man. You fucking, you, ah, oh, you don't know. Ah, oh, man, gee, you think you're better than me? Nah, man, you just ate an enchanted hot dog. <laughs> Woo, <-hoo> crazy. <laughs> so, like, what does it do? Because... Nothing's really happening here. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you. I got a tragic backstory for sure. Oh, okay. I mean, that's not what I asked, but go ahead, I guess. I got, I got tragic backstory up to my eyeballs, man. You think you know me? You think you know my story? Nah, man. Think again. I got, I got a backstory out the, out the wazoo. I got all kinds of backstory. You see, you see, down. I take it. We'll take a taxi. I'll take the taxi. I'll pay for the taxi. That's the kind of guy I am. Wow, that's very nice of you. Do you know you're probably the nicest hostage taker I've met? I respect that hustle. 
I'm evil, but I pay f I pay my way in the world. You think you're better than me? You think you can afford the taxi? Nah, man, I afford the taxi. We're in a taxi now. Yeah, I said, I respect that. Hey, taxi driver, just like, start driving while this guy tells me about his tragic backstory and motivations. You got it. You piece of human garbage. I'm gonna, f I'm gonna destroy you. You're gonna be so destroyed, man. You're not gonna know what's happening. I am the hot dog vendor. I'm just a regular hot dog vendor. That's my story. That's where I come from. That's my backstory. I'm a hot dog vendor. I am a hot dog vendor. So, from what I get, you're a hot dog vendor. I lived on this street my whole life. I was, I was raised on hot dogs. I woke up. Since I was a babe, I didn't have a teat in my mouth. I had a hot dog, you know. That's just the. That's just how it is. That's just how I was raised. I was brought up on these streets. I, it's in my blood. These streets. You know. My backstory is, Doctor. I was. I was such a fan of the show Gossip Girl. Oh, I love Gossip Girl. It was my favorite. It had the. It had the city in it. It's so much of the city. So much culture. And people would say, you watch that show? I'd say, you think you're better than me? Of course I watch that show, it's, it's fucking amazing. And I was just so destroyed by the end of the show. It undermined everything that I knew about the show and it just didn't make sense, right? Fucking, uh, the ships, none of the ships made sense. None of the end game ships, they made, none of them made sense. And also like, Dan couldn't possibly have been Gossip Girl because we'd seen him reacting to Gossip Girl. Whoa, whoa, spoilers, dude. Spoilers for Gossip Girl, by the way. Yeah, no shit. If you, uh, if you hadn't seen it, but it's kind of important to my backstory that you've seen it. So I don't know, man. Maybe you should, maybe we take a pause and we watch Gossip Girl. I don't know. Maybe you watch it later. If, if you're not dead, that is. Ha 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 ha, yeah. Woo! Uh, I forgot where I was. I was talking about Gossip Girl. So the go the ending of Gossip Girl, how much it upset me, man. It upset me. That's my plan, actually. I'm gonna I I've time traveled back in time. And I'm gonna stop Gossip Girl from ending the way I don't like it. I'm gonna rewrite history. Ooh, I'm gonna rewrite history, man. I'm gonna rewrite it all over the place. I'm gonna write the new finale. Here's the script. I got it in my bag right here. I'm gonna change time with the new script that I wrote. Here it is. Gossip Girl finale by the hot dog vendor. I mean, that's kind of evil, but where does the enchanted hot dog come into this? You know what? You think you're better than me? Nah, man. I just remembered... I just remembered, you know what? I spent a long time saying that um, this wasn't Earth, and this wasn't New York, and that now I've just talked about Gossip Girl for a really long time, even though I, I... You know, I specifically said this wasn't Earth, so you know what? Yeah, every planet has a Gossip Girl. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. This, this planet looks like New York, it has its own Gossip Girl. I'm talking about the g Gossip Girl of this planet. Oh, okay, alright. Maybe I forgot what planet I said this was. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. You don't know. You forgot the name of the planet. I remembered it. Anyway, I got the new script for Gossip Girl. I'm gonna do, and there's nothing you can do to stop me, Doctor. I mean, the ending you described was kind of okay in my opinion. Is this really worth the effort? Oh, you think you're better than me? You think you like the Gossip Girl finale? You think you gave it five stars in the letterbox? Nah, man. You hated it, everyone hated it. They just couldn't go there, man, they couldn't emotionally go there to say how much they hated it but you you should join me doctor you should join me you should help me. Ah! ah oh oh holy shit the cab just crashed the driver's dead hot dog vendor are you okay jesus ah 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 i don't know what you're doing to me but you're doing something to me dude we've been caught in a car crash i haven't done shit ah you gotta work it out ah ah I think you might have a concussion. Let's get you out of here. I think you're forgetting something, Doctor. That's right, I, I, I think it's time we circle back to the enchanted hot dog because I forgot about it for a little bit. I never told you it's side effects, Doctor. 
I, I mean, I'm glad we're getting back to that, but really I should call you an ambulance or like a space ambulance. Whatever you have in this planet. That's right, the hot dog is enchanted. It's gonna transform you, doctor. It's gonna transform you into a dog. The hottest of dogs. Ha 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 Then you'll be powerless to stop my plan of rewriting the Gossip Girl finale, but not the Earth's Gossip Girl, this planet's Gossip Girl. What's the emergency number in this area? Oh, you think you're better than me, a little dog? Nah, you're a little dog. Nope. I'm still humanoid. You definitely have a concussion. I'm gonna just kick you now, you're a little dog. Haha. <laughs> Oi! Watch it! Oh my god. My hot dog cart? You wanna know about my hot dog cart? No, not really. Hey, can someone call this guy an ambulance? Here we go, I'm gonna open the hot dog cart. My secret weapon is in here. Dude, that's just a can of Pepsi. You need to calm down. Oh, gee, ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. No, I shouldn't have opened it. No one's meant to do that. My hot dog cart is open and no one's meant to do that. Again, you just opened a Pepsi can. Let's go over the events here. You got caught in a horrific car crash with me. You have a concussion, and I think your head is bleeding. You say you're wielding the power of your hot dog cart, but you actually just opened a Pepsi can, and now you're screaming at me. People around us are confused and terrified. Please sit down. Ah, uh, the hot dogs, they're escaping. No, the enchanted hot dogs, no. Ah, uh, no. My babies, no. Ah, oh, there I'm, they're clawing at my clothes. Here, have this, it's a ketchup bottle I nicked from your stand. I was gonna restock my TARDIS. Anyway, at least it'll distract you. What's this? This something about this ketchup bottle, man. It, it calls to me, it's like it's, it's like it's whispering. And you're just staying insane, right. You think you're better than me, ketchup dispenser? You think you're better than me? You think you can talk to me? I'm gonna open you up. I'm gonna see what's inside. Oh, hey, whatever's in there healed your head wound. You're fine now, man. Oh my god. I remember now. My essence, who I truly was, it was stored inside that ketchup dispenser. Oh, no. Still crazy, I guess. The hot dog vendor? Nah, man, he was all a ruse. I made him up, a fiction. I disguised myself as a hot dog vendor. It was the only way I'd be safe. It was the only way I could infiltrate the Gossip Girl set. I know who I really am now. I'm gonna regret playing along, but who are you then? You think you're a fancy man? You think you're a doctor? Well, I'll tell you who I am. I'm the hot dog vendor. <gasps> but it can't be? That's right. I am the hot dog vendor. The last of the food lords. Wait, the food lords? I thought you were just a legend. For years, the food lords watched Earth, other planets, I don't know. We maintained food hygiene regulation. Until one day, man, it went too far. I couldn't sit back. I, I, we were sworn to just monitor. But I couldn't monitor. I couldn't just watch, stand back and watch food anymore. I had to intervene. These people with their burgers, their greasy fingers, their hot dogs, their pizza pies. They were beyond help. That's what the council said, the council of food. They said it was beyond help. But I knew, man, I knew I had to do something. I had to, I had to intervene. So I came to Earth. I came to the planet Earth. That's where I started, because I just remembered we're still not on Earth. So I, after we were on Earth, I finished up on Earth. I had some adventures. And some food-related adventures. I tried to show them the true way. I tried to... I tried to... I tried to make them eat, eat clean, man. I tried to make them respect their bodies. They wouldn't do it. I traveled planet to planet. Trying to spread the word of food from the food lords. Nothing was working, man. And then I realized... My journey, it taken me like a thousand years or something. What, really? A thousand years? Kinda lame. Yeah, a thousand years, don't look at me like that. I'm talking real, it's a thousand years. And I realized I couldn't change the world, man. I couldn't change it. 
I couldn't get them to eat clean. And then I saw her at a hot dog, just laying out there, and a uh, beautiful, disgusting, greasy hot dog. That's when I knew, Doctor. That's when I joined the dark side. The side of the hot dogs. I became one with the hot dog. I merged with it. I ate it. It was in my body, and I was in its body. And I became the hot dog vendor. That is who I am. My name is the hot dog vendor, and I vend hot dogs. That is who I am. Wow, that's certainly... A backstory. You know, I'm just kind of glad that we reached the realm of the legitimate now, because a regular guy with a concussion I cannot handle, but the last of the food lords turned evil by fast food? That's my kind of jam. That's when I began my greatest mission of all. My quest became not to stop people from eating garbage. It was too late for that. They already, they'd already merged with the garbage. The garbage was in them, like the hot dog was in me, and that's when I knew. The garbage was the future. The garbage is the evolution of mankind. The garbage will rule. The hot dog will rule. The enchanted hot dog will rule all. Yeah, on that topic, will you ever tell me what that enchanted hot dog does? Because I ate one and you said it would turn me into a dog, but that didn't happen and you had a serious head wound then. So, what gives? I am a connoisseur of trash, Doctor. Just absolute garbage. I am... I bathe in it naked every night. That's who I am. And the pinnacle of garbage? The messiah of trash? Gossip Girl. You wonder why every planet has a Gossip Girl? <laughs> Not really, but go ahead. It's the natural endpoint of evolution, Doctor. Every civilization, it starts with hieroglyphs. The, f the pyramid. Um, the Statue of Liberty, television, the motion picture, the novel, and eventually the endpoint of all culture is Gossip Girl. It always, it always runs six seasons. Was it seven seasons? I can't remember. It always lasts the same amount of seasons. The characters are always the same. The scripts are always the same. The terrible, terrible scripts, they're always the same, Doctor. In every planet, in every reality, there is one constant. Every planet has Gossip Girl. Didn't you ever stop to wonder why Gossip Girl? No, surprisingly, I've got better things to do. It is my destiny, Doctor. I will see Gossip Girl through to the end. And when Gossip Girl has its correct ending, when Gossip Girl ends properly, then the on every single planet, then the world will end. That's the prophecy of the hot dogs, of the garbage. That is the prophecy of garbage, Doctor. When every planet's gossip go ends correctly, the, the universe will be turned into a trash machine, and it will devour everything. I'm just an agent of chaos, man. You madman! Oh, you think you're better than me? Because you've never seen Gossip Girl? No, I have. I've seen it. I've watched all of the episodes. <laughs> you will eventually, Doctor. You will see it. You will see every single episode. And you will like it. You'll know it's garbage, but you will like it. So will everyone on the planet. Every single person on this planet, on every single other planet, they're gonna watch Gossip Girl, they're gonna love it, then the world will turn into the giant trash machine, and my ancient gods will be awakened. The gods that I worship, they will live again. What gods do you speak of? Is this some legit for real shit? That's right, Doctor. I killed all the other food lords. They tried to stop me. They said, ah, oh, you, you got mad, man. You're maverick. You got insane. I said, you think you're better than me? But with your taste? And your standards? Nah, man. I'm the hot dog vendor. And then I shot them all in the face. Okay, so you're straight up evil. Right. I turned them into dogs first with enchanted hot dogs, but then I shot them in the face. You might think it's unnecessary to do both. But that's just how I roll, man. You gotta respect the hustle. I do what I like. You can't stop me. And your take on reality is... Well, fleeting. Fly, my enchanted hot dogs, fly! Cover this city! 
That ain't New York, it ain't New York. It's just similar to New York, remember that. That's an important fact. Fly, hot dogs, fly! No hot dogs here. Again, we left the actual hot dog cart when we got into the taxi before that horrible crash. Oh god, never mind! The hot dogs are back and they're flying and they're picking off the people one by one! <laughs> that's right, Doctor. You see, I'm an alien in disguise as a hot dog vendor, and that's, that's why my accent kind of is placeless. It doesn't really have a place, you know? Sometimes it's sort of one thing and sometimes it's another. That's because it, it's all smoke and mirrors, Doctor. It's all smoke and mirrors. <laughs> the hot dog will reign supreme, as will Gossip Girl. Okay. Now I'm gonna destroy the world. <laughs> no, I, I just said my plan. It was different to that. I'm sorry. I lost my train of thought. To the, we gotta get to the gossip. I gotta get to the Gossip Girl set. They're shooting the last scene. I gotta get my script in there, in the director's hands. Not if I have anything to say about it. No, Doctor, what are you doing? No, stay back. No. The hot dogs. The hot dogs are gonna eat me. Oh, cruel irony. I thought man was the master of the hot dog. Hot dog's the master of the man, man. Ah, um, shit, man. Well, you see, Hot Dog Render, in all your great plans, you seem to have forgotten one thing. These enchanted hot dogs are not actually enchanted. They are simply sentient and imbued with science. You forgot that magic isn't real. The hot dogs were just playing along, and now that you're trying to use them for your own selfish goals of rewriting the Gossip Girl finale, they're rebelling. Doctor, tell my story. Make sure people know about the hot dog vendor. Make sure people know my tragedy. XOXO. Hot dog vendor. Ah! Seems like the hot dogs have also died in the process. I think I'm going to get a pizza and never speak of this again. for Asian. Where's the beach? It should be near by now. Oh, there's a person that I'll see if he's asked. Excuse me. Ah! Ah. Oh my freaking god. Who are you, you thing? What do you want? Renegade Doctor, don't you remember me? Wait a minute. No. Proper bonkers, Doctor. What the frick are you doing here? Fuck off. Why are you here? Well, I asked you first, so you should be explaining why you are here. Well, you see, I was just attempting to land my Type 40 Time and Relative Dimensions and Space Machine down at my local Marks and Spencers. However, the TARDIS console had a very large technical malfunction and the navigation systems were completely discombobulated. The antimatter drivers cross-cut the anti-disembattenment materials on board and created an impermeable time loop that launched the TARDIS out of the time vortex and created a causal nexus which is only repairable with a hearty sonic ejaculation of the TARDIS's phallic road to gel. However, the TARDIS was uncomfortable with such an act being done in my presence, and so I left to wander this void for a while. Anyways, why are you here? Come to sully my adventures with your non-canon hands, have you? Don't freaking look at me! Ah, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go again! The freaking non-canon joke! Alright, do, do you wanna just get out there? Do, do you wanna say it right to my face? Because if you dare, I'll give you a Nokusani, mate, because I am not a freaking afraid to use my fist against... You are non-canon trash. 
Fuck up, your mum stands Westlife, so, mm. But your mum is my mum. We have the same mum. Oh, God damn it, you're freaking right. Um, your companion smells like poo. There we go, your companion smells like poo. Well, your companion is cringe ass Nene. Christ, she's only 16, you simpering fuck. Sorry, I thought you were still traveling with Fripp. All those identical band members, what were their names again? Jackoff and Boner? You really must have had a horny time. How freaking dare you call me a horn on me? I am not a freaking horny racist. Uh, Jackoff and Boner say otherwise. Oh my god. How many, how many times have I got to tell you all? I am not a freaking horny old man! I mean, you totally are though. I'm not. R2. Are you sure you're not confusing me for the horn on main doctor? Because I think you're confusing me for the horn on main doctor. Wait, do we have one of those now? Or do you just mean the pink doctor? Right, right. Hold up, hold up. This isn't freaking helping. Right, we need to stop arguing and calm the fuck down, okay? Christ! You're the one yelling, Renegade. Good lord. Christ, you're worse than the forgettable war doctor in an adventure like this. I don't even remember who that is, but fair. Let's chill now. So where exactly are we? Uh, some kind of void? I'd have guess outside the universe. Like that other time with you and me and Ninja Bib. He died. Wait, you're telling me this isn't Planet Team 4? I mean, yeah. There aren't any beaches or shit. I mean, it isn't even a good void either. There are no stock red and orange blobs in the background. Then why are we here? I don't know, but clearly it was something powerful to pull both of our TARDISes off course. Okay, that is very suspicious. Well, there could be two reasons. The Master? Or the Rani. Nah, nah, she, she's a bit, you know, she's a bit, um, not bright, is she? True, and I haven't seen the Master in ages. It's gotta be the Cybermen! It can't be. This universe isn't randomly in black and white. Oh, damn, you're right. Anyone else it could be? Well, it ain't the freaking Daleks, I'll tell you that. Damn. Guess we'll have to find out. We're settled. We have got to look around all over this location to find out who the villain is and why they brought us together. That's the only way we can sort this. And then, we can beat the frick out of them and then probably piss on their head. How about that? Good? Right, deal. Oh, uh, we doing that? Yeah, okay. <coughs> oh, oh, freaking, freaking cannon slim. <laughs> That's what I call my car. Onwards and upwards, we freaking go. What's that song we used to sing again? We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. We like to go and up. I know we've been walking for like two minutes, but I'm bored. Are we there yet? How am I meant to know? Everything is so freaking white! Wow, racism much? Oh come on, don't tell me you believe in all that white racism nonsense. Come on, it's clearly just made up by a bunch of piss babies! Um, Renegade, check your facts. White racism is a big problem. Most racists are white. God. Hmm. My sonic screwdriver tells me this is the place though. Well, I don't see anyone, so who could it be then? Wait, look over there. Someone's walking towards us. Oh my freaking god, no! Yeah. Oh frick! The villain! I think it's the villain. What do you think? How do you get that cloak in this dimension? It doesn't make sense. Actually, mm, yeah, m maybe you're right, yeah. He does He does look like it. I mean, he's got the part, you know, he's got, he's got the face and the, the hood and that. Yeah, yeah, I agree, he's deaf for the bell, oh, Frick. Oops, uh, stepped on you for hard to see of all the fog, sorry. Alright, enough of this mystery. Who are you exactly, and what the Frick do you want? Oh, Doctor, you don't know yet. What? Yeah, really, who are you? After all these years, let me pull down my hood to reveal my identity. I am Jeff Shaw. Who? Jeff Shaw. My name, Jeff. Jeff? Jeff Shaw? Um, not ringing a bell. Oh, uh, like Nostenza. You know, Tim Shaw? It's his brother. Oh, right! You, you, you're Tim's brother, Tim Shaw. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember Tim. He was, um, um, who is he again? 
Oh, I fought him with Ninja Bib, I think. He also put teeth on his face. Proper scary. Bit boring outside of that, though. I mean, it's all right, but... Really? Jeff? I mean, it's an all right name, but it's not really, you know, threatening. Like, compared to, say, something like, I don't know, the Cybermen. Threatening. The Daleks. Terrifying. The Master. Big, BB Big Boy type, you know? Or the freaking Rari, or help the Bandriel. You know, you can't just have Jeff as your villain name. It just doesn't freaking work, you know? Yeah, that's like saying Bob's your uncle. Or Fanny's your aunt, you know? It's just not gonna work. Well, your mum is epic fail. Whoa, 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 don't you freaking ever. Ever mention our mums again, okay? You big bully. Fuck off, your dad sells Avon for a living. Oh, doctors. Your sick burns cannot pierce skin so thick. The powerful skin of a Stenza warrior. Okay, hold up. What is your freaking plan exactly? Because there's a reason why we're here. So why don't you just get to the chase and actually explain the freaking plan so we can get back to old times and I can actually get back to my companion and get back doing my freaking life? Please? Well, my plan is to get revenge for my brother by... Uh, um, I, I, I don't actually know. What? I didn't think this far, actually. I don't have much of a plan. Uh, sorry. I'm sorry? Th there's no plan? I don't know what to do when it's not an evil plan. You're telling me you can't that me and Pee Pee over nothing but no freaking plan? You the idiot. What was the freaking point of all this then? Idiot Jeff. You absolute plonker. Very sad. Cringe. Oh, this is an absolute joke. I'm leaving. Screw this, man. Wait, Renegade. We gotta make this right. We have to defeat Jeff Shaw. Yes. Face me. What do you mean, PB? Come on, this is nonsense. How are we supposed to defeat a villain that has no freaking plan? Well, uh, singing competition? Singing competition? Really? Really? Are you serious? That's the best idea you could come up with? Well, I'm up for a challenge. Right. Uh, do you know any reggae tunes? We can play that. I am familiar. Right, do you know the words to uh, this song? <laughs> do I know the lyrics? Uh, no. No would be the answer. Right, you just let me do the lead vocals, you do the backing vocals, okay? Good. Very well, doctors. Perform your song. What's my name? Dunkachino. It's a whole new game. Dunkachino. Want creamy goodness? I'm your friend. Say hello to my chocolate blend. Atina, ho ha, alang letty. This whole trial is out of sight. They pulled me back in the hazel nut too. Caramel swell, I know it was you. Everybody wants my Dunkachino. Can't get enough of my Dunkachino. Kids from 7 to 17 old, lining up for my Dunkachino. What's my name? Dunkachino. A dunk a dunk a dunk a dunk a Dunkachino. Woo! Shame that motherfucker! Enough of your trite. It's Jeff's turn now. The classic song, Kiss from a Rose, as performed originally by Seal, one of Earth's greatest warriors. There used to be a graying tower alone on the sea. You became the light on the dark side of me. Love remained a drug that's the high, not the pale. But did you know that when it snows, my eyes become large and the light that you shine can be seen? Baby, I compare you to a kiss from a rose on the gray. Ooh, the more I get of you, the stranger it feels. Yeah. And now that your rose is in bloom, a light hits the bloom on the gray. Bye.
Dude, that was shit. <laughs> well, Jeff Shaw, what do you have to say for yourself? Music is subjective and you're just mad, okay? <laughs> now look, I get it, you want to be like your brother, but the thing is, Jeff, your brother, um, how do we put it, uh, not the brightest, I think we can agree, would you agree with that, PB? Yeah, no offence, Jeff, but you are the most useless villain I've ever met. You are so abhorrently shit and garbage, I'm actually actively mad that I'm not able to face your brother instead. And your brother is Tim Shaw. I also have another brother, Ringo Shaw. Do I give a shit? No. Sorry, Doctors. The only way you can become a true good villain is actually plan your work. You see, you can't just make it up as you go along and just expect it all to happen because you just don't gotta go anywhere, you know? You need to plan it. You need to use your brain and think how to become a fantastic, epic, and sexy badass villain of the century, okay? Yes, sir. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Now, you better write that down. I will, I will. <clears throat> right. So, um, could you do us a favor and just take us back to our own timeline, please? Beep. Pressing buttons. Right, you should be okay to leave. Sorry for the inconvenience. Maybe next time I'll be a better villain. Uh, yeah, no. Never seeing you again. Right. Cheerio! Stop saying goodbye to the unlovable renegade. Let's get out of here. I left Kit alone in the TARDIS and I'm worried he's gonna eat all the custard creams. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Jeez, oh. Ah, so this is it then. This is the end. Of this adventure, yes. You know, even though I can't freaking stand you for being a so-called canon incarnation, you're actually not a bad guy. Well, most of the time. Most of the time, at least, you know? Yeah, I am pretty awesome. Still, any parting words? Well, PB, here's some advice piece of wisdom that I give my companions all the freaking time that should help. You see, one day, I was at the TARDIS library, you know, just out of boredom and just wanting to have a look at a book and whatever, and just as I was about to reach my favourite book, it fell off the shelf. And obviously, I picked it up. And as I was picking it up, I said to myself, loud and clear, I've only my shelf to blame. What? Farewell, PB. Farewell. No, what? I'm, I'm sorry, I just not going to explain that. Ah, oh, Kit, there you are. This says a lot about our society. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, you will not believe what my alternate timeline self just said to me. Who does he think he is? <laughs> eh. He's not that bad.